<clears throat> so before I uh, make this video, I wanted to point out that when I turned my camera on, on the display screen in the lower right hand corner, it had said 144. So I take that as a, um, a an okay or good to go from our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. Because I, I have to be honest, I'm very, very apprehensive about making this video, but I have faith and I have so much love for the Lord Jesus Christ that I am going to um, do what I'm led to do. So what you're looking at in front of you is a painting I did about a year and a half ago or just under two years ago. When I did this painting, um, I used uh, acrylic paint and just, uh, I was actually playing around, I was experimenting for the first time with um, sponges. Instead of using paint brushes, I was using a sponge. And when I did this painting, it was before I became born again. It was before I became a Christian. So uh, back then, uh, when I used to paint in the evenings, I'm gonna be honest with you, I used to drink alcohol. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> I'm not saying that I would drink um, every night until I would get drunk, but, you know, I, I did like having um, my red wine, you know, two or three glasses every night. So, yes, if, if you want to label that as an alcoholic, uh, I guess I was an alcoholic. <clears throat> but, um... Uh, the day I got saved, December 7th actually, which was seven months ago, I also believe that's very significant, uh, I, I, never, I never had any alcohol um, thereafter. I did have a, um, when, we, when I did um, a remembrance uh, with Jonathan Klex, uh, he did, around Easter time, he did a remembrance of the Lord and um, I did have like I was hesitant but I did have one sip of wine and I didn't even like the taste of it so that's um, all glory to, to the Lord Jesus Christ for helping me um, not like the taste of alcohol anymore <clears throat> so I'm sorry that I am. I seem to always be long-winded, and it's morning, so I still have my morning voice. So I apologize for that. So, anyways, I did this painting <clears throat> over a year and a half ago, before I was saved, and uh, pro I was probably drunk when I did it as well, playing around with um, sponge and paint and canvas. And I did this painting. Now, I just thought it was pretty with the colors um, in the painting. I, 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 I don't, I never saw any images in this painting or anything whatsoever. So, um, so I, I, by the way, I didn't move. This painting um, is right where it was um, when my daughter was looking upon it. So, oh look, the prisms are making rainbows on my painting. <laughs> any event, um, sorry. Uh, any, uh, so on July 3rd, um, and that evening, um, I had my daughter here for a couple days, and we were watching one of Pearl Collery's um, Red Code, or it was like Red Code or Red Alert, videos <clears throat> and um, my daughter looks up and she's like pause pause the video pause the video and I was like okay and she's like do you see that do you see that in the painting 
and I'm looking at and I I have to tell you I've been looking because it's displayed in my living room um, I look at this painting all the time and saw I don't see anything she's like I see Jesus and uh, so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna point out um, here is his head he's looking this way and here's his robe and this is sash right here so this is his robe and here is Jesus looking to the right now once she pointed it out I couldn't unsee it now interestingly enough for a year and a half or close to two years I I mean obviously that was there but it just was not revealed it was not shown it was shown when it was supposed to be shown uh, and revealed at a very interesting time again we were watching Pearl Collery video now I'm gonna give you a small backstory I I don't like people displaying images of the Lord Jesus Christ because I mean I actually did a video um, last week or the week before uh, about people who display images of Jesus Christ I don't like it because um, we don't know what um, what he looks like so anyone who, who does paintings or has pictures of the white Jesus um, with the blue eyes that looks androgynous um, you know I think it's like a like a fake fake Jesus I don't like images because again we don't know what he looks like so for me to uh, be sitting here and say look at this painting my daughter sees Jesus um, well it's not about me it's not about what I like and again it's obviously it doesn't show any details but you can clearly see I mean I can and I'm not sure if you need eyes to see to see this and other people might look at this painting and say you're crazy or you're delusional and I don't see Jesus at all but I just thought I would share this um, and the reason why I find this significant and that I was led to share this is because um, uh, Pearl and Christine and even Crystal um, they're getting a lot of um, hateful um, and negative um, feedback from others by those who spouting off uh, the scripture that no one knows the day or the hour and I I do believe that in that scripture but I don't believe that that is speaking upon the rapture I believe that's referring to um, the end of the world um, the second coming uh, the rapture is completely different I do not believe I don't believe in my heart that our father would leave us in the dark that why why would he um, have a scripture about the ten virgins that there were five wise virgins who kept oil in their lamps um, meaning that they kept their eyes looking for Jesus Christ so our father chose very humble women to deliver the date of the rapture now I also find it interesting that those that are that are scoffing um, are the same ones I'm a watchman who I've been watching for seven months and the same ones that are scoffing these three ladies are also ones who who have put up dates themselves now just because you word it differently and say well you know it's a high watch day and um, no one really knows the day or the hour but it could be this day you're saying the same thing 
with the exception of you're not backed up by the Holy Spirit. These ladies are, are ha have conviction and um, if you truly believe in your heart that they have the Holy Spirit, if they were spouting off something that was untrue, they would have extreme guilt in their heart and be burdened every single day until they repent of their sins and ask for forgiveness from the Lord Jesus Christ uh, to forgive them for being so impulsive and putting something out there that's untrue to mislead other people. So again, you would have to believe that these women have the Holy Spirit, and I believe in my whole heart that all three of these women have His Holy Spirit. I have His Holy Spirit. Nobody can tell you um, what kind of relationship that you have with our Father, that it's a very personal relationship and you know your relationship with the Lord. And anyone who questions it, it's because they don't know you and they don't know how often you speak to our to your father or any of that i speak to jesus every single day all day so anyone who can anyone who wants to rebuke this message that um that jesus is not coming for his bride on july 17th you know that's your prerogative um but I also find it interesting that those that rebuke others, do you go directly to the Lord Jesus Christ and pray about it and ask him first that is this person not of you or or are you going on your own instinct and you think because that person is in error and you're going on your own and being impulsive and just saying a bunch of nonsense because that's what I see more often than not. I just see people going on their own will and not his Father's will. That you can clearly see when you have his Holy Spirit, you can see when somebody is being led by the Lord God and those that are not. Those that, you know, they seem hesitant um, and you can just see it. It's hard to explain. I don't want to get into all kinds of details because I've already gone over 12 minutes in time, but I just wanted to show you this miraculous, beautiful revelation by our father just through my daughter to show me that the image of his son, Jesus Christ, in my painting. And how beautiful is that? And it was when I was watching the Code Red or Red Alert video that Pearl Colliery had posted. We were watching it on July 3rd that evening. So the lighting also might be different. But if you can't see Jesus Christ in this picture, I don't know. I don't know what to say. And again, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of people who, you know, oh, you know, images of Jesus Christ. So it is very funny. And, and if you don't believe me, you can go back and 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 go look at um, my previous video uh, about the images of Christ that I, I, I'm not for it. And it's funny how the Lord picks me you know, oh, you're, you don't, you're, you're not into that. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's, it, because the thing is, is if you have a photo of him, it's, it's an idol. And the Lord God does not like idols. But I don't believe this is, this is for, um, uh, I don't, I'm not using this painting as an idol. I was very hesitant in showing you this was the Lord Jesus Christ showing me or showing my daughter actually to show me, can I can't even take the credit for it, to show my daughter that what Pearl Colliery was saying, there's something to it, that it is backed up by the His Holy Spirit. So that's all I wanted to say. Um, um, so yes, I, I only have about, I have 70 subscribers and I'm probably going to have like none because I'm, 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 I'm putting that date out, but I don't care, it's not about subscribers. It's not about um, anything. This is about the Lord Jesus Christ and doing his will. So that's what I'm doing. So I hope everyone has a very good weekend. 
and whether you receive this message um, some people will receive this and just be glad others will just not so it's very it's funny the tears and the weeds that's what's happening this the great separation is definitely happening I see that as a watchman but um, yes I have full confidence in July 17th and when you have his Holy Spirit you know again you would feel great burden if a lie was to come out of your mouth and um, yeah I've said July 17th quite often and um, I don't feel burdens at all I feel great joy so I hope you have a good weekend and God bless